county had offered um, the sales tax, um, the bank's investors, uh, some of them seemed to uh, say that, that was not enough. Uh, they wanted to, to either raise rates or bring in some other source of revenue. Uh, does the county make a counter offer then? Or we we have made account? no counter offer so far. Uh, we stand where we were, which was the original proposal. We, we have had no counter offers from us to them. Just to, to follow up on Kyle's question, if you don't come back with some movement or this week, is that going to be telling? Well, I would say, you know, next Thursday is the end of that standstill or forbearance agreement. And at that point in time, I imagine there's some hard decisions to be made. I do not know what those decisions will be, but I think that all would agree. We have been moving through this, um, and we have been steadfast in trying to negotiate our way out of this. And I want to take you back to the three things we set forth as our major concerns. First, of course, would be our rate payers and the burden that they bear because of the expense of this. The second would be the um, actual bondholders who have, uh, in good faith, purchased these bo uh, bonds. And last but not least would be the environmental concerns as it pertains to the clean water, as it pertains to those uh, environmental restraints uh, that are placed upon us by the consent decree and the Clean Water Act because I think everybody needs to understand that we not only face this but the Environmental Service Department has to move forward to take care of, of the items I've just mentioned. So it's a very complicated situation and I do not know what the outcome will be. When you say hard decisions a week from Thursday, are you, are you do you think the bankruptcy decision will have to be made if you don't have a deal by next May 15th? I thought I know the commissioner stated this very well, and that is that we literally being left with, uh, with no alternatives to this by the very people that we, that the county, you know, did business with to get us into this situation. I don't have all the answers, but it would seem to me that, again, I've said this before, next week is a big week. Um, so at that point, will the county go forward with another forbearance uh, agreement? You know, if that could be worked out, what do we do? I don't have the answers to that. I think my frustration occurred earlier when um, I, I thought this would be resolved. You know, I'll take you back to a day when all these bankers and investment people and insurance companies, I think, were present, met with us, and we spent several hours, uh, that was early in this process. I felt very optimistic. I've said to you, I'm optimistic about this. So I guess I've just become sort of weary uh, rather than frustrated that we haven't been able to uh, come up with a solution that will please everybody. Uh, but, you know, everybody kept saying it's going to take a long time, it's going to take a long time. I think that's good for our side because as we have in good faith said to these people out there, the investment brokers, insurers, look folks, this is what we're taking in. We'll give you this, if we can get the legislature to agree, 20-something uh, million a year out of the sales tax. That's all our people can stand. 